Jane Froman. Jane Froman was born in 1907. Her parents separated when she was five. She spent her childhood in Clinton and attended the Holy Rosary School. She was musically gifted and her talent for music appeared early by the age of three. When she was five years old, she was sent to live with her grandparents in Clinton, Thad and Ellender Barkefer. When her mother arrived in Clinton after her, it was without her husband. Jane sang in school concerts at various churches and even landed the role of Snow White in the school play. And although it never surfaced when she sang, she experienced a problem stuttering, which had surfaced at the age of five. In 1919, she attended the Christian College in Columbia, Missouri, and then the University of Missouri, eventually studying at the Conservatory of Music in Cincinnati. In Cincinnati, Jane's singing talents were recognized by the owner of a radio station, Powell Crosley Jr. She soon found herself singing radio commercials. After spending time working in various radio gigs, she landed a spot in New York on the Chesterfield Hour, a nationally popular radio show. That was 1933. For the next decade, Jane and her first husband would alternate between Hollywood and New York as she found success and opportunities to perform. Following the entry of the U.S. into World War II, Jane helped with bond drives and sang over the Armed Forces Network to entertain troops. In February of 1943, she embarked on an overseas USO tour, but never made it to her destination. While flying over Portugal, the plane carrying her and 38 other passengers crashed into the Tigris River. Only 15 survived. Jane had severe injuries to her legs and her right arm. With the help of the co-pilot, John Byrne, who would later become her second husband, she stayed afloat in the river until rescued. It took about an hour before the ships were launched to the scene where Jane, John, and 13 others were waiting in the icy waters. There was an added 20 minutes to the rescue as two of the men fell overboard, lifting Jane into the launch while the boat drifted away. John's injuries were severe as well. His back was broken in two places, and he had fractures to his skull. Somehow, he helped lift her up and keep her above water. Jane's injuries were no less severe and would affect her for the rest of her life. Hang on to me a second, Jane told John in the water. I think there's a bone broken in my leg. Not only did she have a compound fracture in her leg, but her right arm was broken along with three broken ribs, and she had a large cut below her left knee that ran to the bone. She was battered and bruised. The injury to her right leg was severe enough that she made the doctor promise not to amputate it. Over the next nine years, she spent 36 months in hospitals undergoing operations, bone and skin grafts, 25 operations in all, and eventually was able to perform with a brace and enjoy a professional career in nightclubs and on television. Two years after that accident, on crutches and with a leg brace that ran to her hip, she finished the USO tour she had started. At first, she sang in hospitals, but eventually borrowed General Eisenhower's car and toured few places that any USO tours had visited. A few years later, 1952, a movie was made about Froman's experience called With a Song in My Heart, which starred Susan Hayward as Jane. In 1962, after moving back to Missouri, she retired and made her home in Columbia. Froman married again this time to an old college acquaintance, Roland Smith, who worked at the Columbia Tribune. One of her last performances was in Arrow Rock, Missouri, when she came out of retirement to sing a Christmas program in 1969. Jane Froman died in Columbia in April of 1980.